On this channel, we have already done so many different things to change DVD. I covered how Behaviour can use game design to make their game more rewarding and feel so much better for players. I even made my own Dead by Daylight graphics update when Behaviour were taking too long to do their own. Then we went onto the nurse and used some 3D audio to make the game much more immersive and just feel like you're really in the realm. And then we took things back for a while and downgraded to PS1 style graphics. Oh no, oh no, it's Jason! No! Leave me alone, Jason! After that, I took Dead by Daylight's optimization into my own hands, as I'm sure many of you are sick of low frame rates. So, I released the Dead by Daylight config editor, which let all of you players get beautiful frame rates or increase the game's visual quality to make it look gorgeous. Here we have it, an update to my config editor now including an easy way of turning FXAA off entirely or just adjusting the intensity of it so it's not as over the top. And then finally, we went onto the Nintendo Switch, saw the horrendous graphics and horrendous frame rate, and then used AI upscaling to make the game look better. And now, I'm upgrading DBD's graphics once again. I don't think we're going to be able to top this one in the future. Get ready guys. Now, this might be a controversial statement to make, but I honestly think Dead by Daylight looks gorgeous on ultra settings. Well, on matches where you can see it anyway. Behaviour being behaviour, on a lot of maps it's way too dark and you can't see a thing, you can't see anything at all. But if you get lucky with Leary's or the new Cold Wind maps, you can see nice and clearly and my god is it gorgeous. But we can take things even further. So, if we quickly jump into my Dead by Daylight config editor, we can set all of the parameters to the maximum of 5 and ultra defaults to about 3 normally. On top of that, we can double the in-game resolution and let's take a look at what we have just from that. Obviously, there are some insane diminishing returns right here, but nonetheless, this is still a visual upgrade. But we've already seen this before. This is exactly what I did when I made my own Dead by Daylight graphics update. So, how are we going to push this even further? You know what? I'll let the footage speak for itself. What you're about to see is completely unedited, there is no post-production on this, and this is exactly what I'm seeing when I play the game. As you can see, the game is absolutely beautiful. In fact, it actually looks just as good as the trailers for the game make it out to be. I mean, just look at the flashlights, look how intense and full that beam is. You can actually imagine someone genuinely getting blinded by that, so it makes the game more believable. And just for comparison's sake, here's the main menu of the effect being toggled on and off. So, how exactly is this achieved? Well, long-standing viewers of my channel have already seen this exact method before, used for a different result. In January of 2018, I was the first person to bring to light that this feature can be used in Dead by Daylight. And the first thing we did was use it to see Claudette's hiding in shadows. Even to this day, people still ask me to make an updated guide on the best freestyle settings. So if you want to see that video, let me know in the comments and subscribe with the bell icon so you can catch that video when it comes out. So, in order to get this working, we're going to pull up the NVIDIA Freestyle filter, and then we're going to go to any of our presets, and then we're going to use these settings. So, first we will add colour, and then we will open down the settings for that effect, and then we're going to set the tint colour to zero, the intensity to zero, the temperature to zero, and the vibrance to 100%. So, next we're going to add brightness and contrast, and we're going to set the exposure to as close to 23-25% to as possible. The slider doesn't give you that much granularity, so I'll go with 24 for now. And then on contrast, we're going to set that to the closest we can to minus 20. And then for highlights, we're going to max that out at 100%. And the shadows, we're going to drag to 0% or as close as possible. And the gamma will also go to 100%. 
And then to finish the effect off, we're going to add colorblind. And then we're going to add due to... Uh, we're gonna add the middle one at 100% and then of course the last part is optional But my god does it add so much immersion we can add letterbox and then of course set it to the ratio of our monitor Now you should know this but if you don't you're probably on 21 by 9 if yours is ultra wide Then you'll know what settings to put it to and look at that absolutely beautiful even just waiting in the queue It looks absolutely beautiful. Let's go do some sightseeing Okay, so here we are walking down the corridor of Leary's and just look at just the windows, look at the light beams coming through. All of these colours look so surreal. It like it genuinely looks like it's footage from a movie. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, the lighting does this in the core game, but the fact that we've pushed the graphics so far and given it good colour correction, this just looks absolutely out of this world if we take a look in the showers look it just looks genuinely real it doesn't even look like a video game at this point now if we run down this corridor we see both the windows and the generator lights coming down giving some absolutely insane lighting honest to god this looks genuinely like i, I, I honestly i'm lost for words honestly i am and it, it goes to show that in video game graphics, it's not all about the textures and stuff, obviously that helps, but sometimes all you need is just a good bit of colour correction, and of course, behaviour, they don't really have that. They like to whack the brightness all the way down and then shove a load of green all over your screen, or blue or yellow, depending on the map, and that's terrible colour correction. If we take a look at this, where it's more even, it's more balanced, it just looks absolutely amazing. Now, of course, you may need to adjust these settings a little bit differently to suit your monitor, as for instance, most gaming monitors are extremely saturated compared to mine, and mine is a professionally calibrated color accurate monitor. So for me, these settings are absolutely insane, but for you, you might need to turn down the vibrance or saturation in the settings. Speaking of color accurate monitors, once again, guys, if anyone's going to give you the best freestyle settings for seeing people easily, it's going to be me. So if you want to see that video, make sure you show some love in the comments and subscribe with that bell so that you actually see the video. Because trust me, you're going to be seeing people clear as day, as if shadows never even existed. And once again, it's not bannable. It's not often I plug my merch, but the new Coven hoodies are available down in the description below. A few people have got them already and they are absolutely loving them and the design is absolutely amazing. So if you guys do like the style, check it down in the description below. We've got loads of other designs. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. You know what it's like to find a knife inside your back. Uh -huh. You know what I write the side of life is like a parasite. I got nowhere to go because I am chilling in my zone. Work for all the own bitch, I ain't everything alone. I stumble fuck around, bitch, I'm the king of this damn throne. The suck your bitch is touching this is one of me to moan. The fucking bitch is watching this will copy me like clones. Get a buffer to keep fucking, which means something on your own. I put in way more fucking effort than you've ever shown.